it's crazy to see the Washington Commanders finally become a team who does what they are supposed to do. We were supposed to blow out the Carolina Panthers today. They're one in five, I think. And we did what we're supposed to do, which is not the norm for this team. In years past, we've had teams like the Windless Bears come into our stadium and beat us. But now the tides have changed and we are a team who just does the simple, basic things right, doesn't make huge mistakes, and has become a team that I feel confident in, even when we didn't have Jaden Daniels for most of the game. Now, we should be sitting here talking about um, Dante Fowler and his crazy coming of age or whatever breakout game you want to call it, uh, 67 yard touchdown, uh, pick six in the game, in the backfield all day. Dude was going crazy. Luvu had a good, another good game. Um, the same usual suspects, Emmanuel Forbes Jr. had an interception today. Uh, so just goes to show you that the success that other people are having can wear off on other people. And that is something that we should be praising Dan Quinn for and the rest of the staff. But we need to talk about Jaden Daniels. Um, as of right now, this is 30 minutes after the game ended. Still no official news on Jaden Daniels. Uh, this, I don't know. Uh, that's just someone in the Discord talking. <laughs> but shout out to everybody in the Discord. Uh, we sat there and watched the game t together today, and it was fun. Um, we're all wondering the same thing. And my thoughts on this Jaden Daniels situation is until I get official proof from the team, and said so they say the x-rays are good you know jane daniels is going to start next week or he's good and we're gonna see when he can start or whatever i need official news i need official news because his mom tweeting saying that he's good um him smiling and waving on the sideline doesn't mean shit to me i need official in writing from the team the x-rays were negative he's good to go that's what I need. Or even if his ribs are broken, whatever it is, he's still going to play. What, whatever it is, I need official news to go forward. I'm not going to sit here and read into him, who probably, they probably gave him some drugs or something to feel better, you know, when you get uh, a in painful injury like that, right? I'm not going to sit here and read into him sitting on the sideline and smiling and everything. That's, I, that's not, that's not going to be the end all be all for me. I need in writing. By the team he is good to go he's going to start next week whatever whatever happens it is it is what it is and now i need to go to hear from this when it happened when it happened and we thought oh we're sitting here thinking about the worst outcome right um i had these same thoughts right that say the worst situation we have here is Jaden daniels breaks his rib or ribs <clears throat> excuse me and is out for the season right that's the worst outcome i'm still not that worried about it i'm just not because this isn't a torn acl this isn't a broken leg this is ribs right this is not going to be something even if he doesn't play for the rest of this season we are ahead of schedule we weren't supposed to be this good this year and if you look at this is this is what happens when you have a running quarterback when you have a dual threat quarterback look at lamar jackson lamar jackson uh was skinnier and ran the ball more while when he was closer to being a rookie and he got hurt and then the next year he put on extra weight and then apparently this year he took that weight off and i guess i don't know he's going up but the thing is the moral of the story is he needs to figure out what weight is best for him for him to be able to take hits and not get hurt and we've seen people like lamar jackson put weight and muscle on and take it off and whatever they're constantly trying to figure out what they need to do to stay healthy and this is what is going to happen this isn't going to be the last time we're sitting here wondering all right this is not going to be the last time we're going to sit here and wonder um what's up with jane daniels because if you run the football and it just like marcus mariota who had a hell of a game today too you've seen some of the runs he did seen some of the, the hits he took can you do that for a whole season without getting injured that's probably hard to do right so we're going to be looking at this. This is going to be something going forward that's going to be something that we have to worry about and we're going to deal with. 
multiple times. It's not going to be just this scare, whatever this is. But I'm sitting here thinking, even if Jaden Daniels is out for the season, right? I'm not so worried about it. I know there's other people going to be bummed out. And sure, this season might not be what you expected it to be. It's not what any of us expected it to be, to be honest. But even if you're sitting here thinking, oh, we ha we are five, five and two, and we are looking good, um, and you are expecting something at the end of the season or whatever, and that might we not might not live up to that expectation now. If Jane Daniels is out for the season, I'm still not so worried about it because you have to think of it this way: we are ahead of schedule. This injury is not an injury that's going to stop us from having Jane Daniels next year. He's going to be here next year. His ribs will heal. It's not like he tore his ACL. It's not like he broke his leg or ankle. We are okay. It'll be fine. Um, and the other thing is I have faith in the people we have in the building now. That's the biggest thing. Even if Jaden Daniels, even if this was, this, I'm not trying to say anything or speak this into existence. Even if for some reason Jaden Daniels isn't our quarterback of the future and doesn't work out here, I have faith. In Adam Peters, and I have faith in Dan Quinn now. I have faith in our owner. I have faith in the team and the organization now. So that's it. That's the moral of the story. Even no matter what happens or how bad this situation turns out to be, I have faith now. I think that even if Jane, even if you know Jane Daniels was not even here, I have faith that Adam Peters is going to build this team to be a good team. And we're going to win somehow. We won today without him. We won today without uh, Jane Daniels. Yes, it was worst versus the worst team in the league. But we have competent people running the business now. So no matter what, that's just all I got to say. I have faith. I think we're going to be okay. No matter what happens. And like I said, this isn't an injury that's going to sideline Jane Daniels for long. Even if he was all the way out this season, right? Even, even if we get the news. He could be completely fine, and everybody's reading into this correctly. I'm not going to sit here and read into him smiling on the sideline and his mom tweeting out that he's okay, that he's okay. Uh, I was saying in the Discord earlier, who was the running back? I forget the guy's name. He tore his ACL. What was it? Did he tear his ACL? Remember the guy? He was only, damn, man, I, how could I not remember this guy's name? Um, running back that we really were high on, then I think he got hurt or whatever. Uh, he always had a lollipop or something. You, you guys know who I'm talking about. <clears throat> and um, he got hurt, and then he came out after afterwards, after the game or whatever, and told the media, I'm fine. I'm good to go. I'm good or whatever. Then we find out, no, you tore your ACL or whatever it was, broke your, tore your ACL or something. But he was, was telling everybody, hey, I'm good. He, I don't know what he meant, but I guess he meant he's good psychologically that he knows that he's out for the season or whatever. He, I guess that's what he meant is I'm good. And like God is great or whatever he, the hell he was saying. We've seen this before where people are like, oh, no, I'm good. Don't worry about it. And then, like, the next day, it's like, no, you're not good, bro. Uh, but that's all I'm saying. I'm not going to read into anything until I see actual proof. Hey, x-rays were good, whatever. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.